Hey Shalom, Akim. This is Yahbatazah coming back with another video. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Much love and respect to you brothers out there doing the work in sincerity and truth. All right, got an article right here uh, regarding a new episode, uh, a show that came out called American Gods. Okay, it just barely came out uh, May 1st, 2017. All right, I watched it. Um, and it's it's fairly it's fairly good, man. It's pretty good, but the movie or this show it's on the first episode is basically have has a a a, a mythology you know setting where you got different gods of of ancient gods that are coming back into power. All right, that were that were brought over here to the land of America by the foreigners, you know, talking about the Europeans, you know, uh, you know, the heathens and things of that nature. Okay, Esau, right? So, and then you got today's age, the, their gods, which is like the technology, television, all right, the internet. So these gods are gonna fight against each other, all right? That's the, I guess, the basis of this, 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 uh, this show. But it was written already. It was a book that was written. I'm going to go ahead and read it um, a little bit. Then I'm going to pull out some scriptures. It says right here, you know, American Gods. It says, it's been quite a few years since I read Neil Gaiman's American Gods. So most of the plot details have escaped me. But the concept stayed in my mind because of how brilliant it was. Modern day America has become a melting pot of aging gods, deities of just about every culture imaginable that followed their believers over the ocean only to discover that the faith that sustains them is slowly ebbing away. The old gods are dying, being replaced by new gods such as internet, the television, and highway. All right, so, you know, the brothers, you know, I've been wa noticing, and then, you know, the elder Ariamla got, the, got on the subject about the sons of the Most High, the sons of God, which you got a lot of people out in the, high, or out in the world which even we, before we came into the truth, we believed in the fallen angels and the Nephilim and things of that nature, but we didn't have the proper understanding of what Genesis chapter 6 was talking about. So this show was basically still continued to pushing that same uh, cunningly devised fable of, amongst the minds of the people when you watch the show because it, it, it's uh, the main deity in, in this, this show, he's called, his name is called Mr. Wednesday. All right. Um, if you know your your weeks, like Mon uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, those are all named after gods. All right. Well, the main the the, the one of the main characters in the this show, his name is Mister Wednesday. So that for me, it wasn't hard to understand who he was. All right. When you uh, when you start seeing you start seeing it, it has to do with gods. It has to do with like you know um, certain deities. All right, ancient deities, and when they said Mr. Wednesday, I I went and I I, I looked up Wednesday. I didn't I I, rem, I forgot what the name of the god was, but I knew it had something to do with that. He he was an actual god, okay. Uh, and and it went back to uh, Odin, which is a Norse uh, god. All right, and and so they're they're bringing back these same. They're bringing it back to the people's minds, basically, man. All right. So it says, uh, and like I was saying earlier, you know, the elders or the elder uh, Ariamla, he's been, he, you know, he, he was recently in Dallas with the brothers uh, on Friday doing a live show on there on the highways and the byways. And he, he encountered, they encountered, a, I believe he was a, a, a brother from a, one of the tribes, Northern Kingdom. And they got into this, the topic all over again after Elder Ariamla had already done the show. Talking about the fallen angels, the son, the son of men, or the sons of God, who they really are, which is uh, the elect. All right, the, well, you know, the uh, the Israelites. Before they were known as Hebrew Israelites, those were the sons of God. Okay, they weren't angels. All right, they were of men of renown, you know, and they were uh, to be of uh, of reputation, and they were well known. Okay, that's that's what made them to be looked upon as giants. Okay, but this is basically what the movie is based on, okay? And it's it's, it's going to be a battle between ancient gods be, and, and newly gods, okay? Uh, before I go on, let me read Second Peter chapter 1, verse 16. 
It says, for we have not followed cun cunningly devised fables when we made known unto you the power and coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, but, but were eyewitnesses of his majesty. See, and then the, the elect are not going to be de deceived by this, these fables. All right. The word fable just goes back to being a, a lie that's created, which I'll bring up the, the meaning here after a while. Okay, so we have to get the true testimony of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, which Yahweh Shai, who's no ignorantly known as Jesus Christ, he reigns supreme. He's the omnipotent one. All right. All right. He's the one, he's the one that reigns above all and is supreme above all, next to his father, Yahweh. Okay. So I'm gonna continue reading. Uh, it says, It is a perfect fictional world to explore topical themes like immigration, culture clash. The slow death of religion and technological technological change. All right, you see, so they're, they're, through the process of time, you know, as we know in the scriptures, like the ancient times when they would go into war, it was through you know battle. They they battled with swords and 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 and, and, and continuous great noise. But a time's coming where they're gonna war is gonna, not gonna be that way of ancient with arrows and axes and stuff like that, shouting. It's going to be a, a, a war of, of fuel and fire, which is that thermal nu nuclear tech, uh, uh, destruction, which is it's a, a new technology. It's a new discovery. All right. And the people worship that. OK, people honor and respect that. OK, so it's a change that we're coming into. But though, not knowing that those are all the same old spirits. OK, it just Esau was is working on the left hand side under Satan. And it's giving them this, this this understanding about how how to use these certain things. Really, it's through Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Yahweh Shai has given given him access to these things. Okay, so you know, going back to right here where it says it is a perfect fictional world to explore topic topical themes like immigration. All right, uh, right up here it says how the culture imaginable that followed their believers over the ocean. What was one of the uh, the images they brought over here was Caesar Borgia. All right, the white image of who they were called Jesus Christ. That was a, um, a image that led a lot of the uh, the Negro Latinos and Native American Indians astray, man. Okay, so that's what it's going into, man. It's the same thing. There ain't no no new thing underneath the sun, man. All right, now you got a lot of people worshiping, you know, the technology. People are saying to the spirit, who, who can make war with the beast, like it says in Revelations, who cause a fire to fall from the sky. You know, but it said, I'm going to continue to read, but I watched the first episode of American Gods last night, and I must admit, I was disappointed with such a rich mythology to grow from as well as a as an unusual cast of characters. I was expecting something like True Blood, but even more outlandish while it was while it may have embraced the, the surreality of the source material so far, American Gods lacks basic humanity uh the, the series opens with the ex, ex, exposition laden laden sequence that depicts a pr troop of vikings landing in america before being forced back to sea by angry natives right and there's a scene right in the beginning akium where a, a man or an edomite you know walks up on on the shore and immediately they're they're being attacked by insects all right, and then they step a little bit closer to to try to go into the uh, the wilderness, and immediately like this that one this one individual Viking just got shot up with like man I want to say a hundred arrows just covered his body. I'm talking about the front side of his body, man, from head to toe. All right, it says uh, before being forced back to sea by the angry natives, talking about the the, the Indians, man. All right, the indigenous people of the, of the land. Only trouble is there was no wind to sail home, so they were stuck there. So the Vikings, despite being far from the, the motherland, embark on a series of ridiculous violent rituals to appeal the Norse god Odin, hoping he will allow the wind to blow again. So see, the in the in the beginning of the movie, one of the main characters is a man called Mr. Wednesday, which that word Wednesday goes back to Odin. Which they they call him Woden, I believe. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm saying the proper pronunciation, but it's Woden, W O D I N. So that's where they get the word Odin. Okay, it says hoping he will allow the wind to blow again. 
And it says religious ceremonies often appear to be I I illogic illogical illogical form from an outsider's perspective, but the Vikings plunge straight into full blown stupidity with the decision to pluck out one of their own eyes, leaving every single member of the troop permanently disfigured. And that that's 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 that sounds familiar from when the time when Elijah tested uh, the 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 three hundred was it 300 slack the 300 um uh, uh false prophets of Baal right here in 1st Kings 18 and I'll start at verse uh 1st Kings 18 and 27 and it came to pass at noon that Elijah mocked them and said cry aloud and for he is a god Either he is talking, or he is pursuing, or he is in a journey, or peradventure, he sleepeth and must be awakened. And they cried aloud and cut themselves with their with their manner with knives and lance, lancets, till the blood gushed out upon them. See, so their their God wasn't a real God, man, because Yahweh 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 Shai ain't gonna require that from 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 one of his elect. Okay, so these these Edomites. You know, these these individuals that came across from from the land of America that were committing human sacrifices, self-affliction, self-mutilation, were trying to do that to please their God. OK, and that's what they show you in the beginning of this, of this show, uh, American Gods. But the, there's no new thing underneath the sun. We knew we know that it's already happened when uh, the 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 false prophets of uh, of a. Uh, Ahab and uh, 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 Jezebel did the same thing to please their God, Baal, right? Uh, I'm going to keep reading 1 Kings 18 and 29. And it came to pass when midday was passed, and they prophesied until the time of the offering of the evening sacrifice, and there was neither voice nor any to answer, nor any that regarded. And Elijah said unto all the people, Come near unto me. And all the people came near unto him, and he repented, repaired the altar of the Lord that was broken down. So basically, Elijah, Elijah, he he showed the true power of Yahweh, what Yahweh Shai. All right, and he embarrassed the the false prophets of Baal. And I'm gonna jump down to, and he caused the fire to come down to consume his sacrifice. Elijah did. And I'm gonna jump down to First Kings 18 and 40. And Elijah said unto them, Take the prophets of Baal, let not one of them escape, and they took them and Elijah brought them down to the brook of Kishon and slew them there. You see? Uh, real quick. See. Kind of says right here, uh, 1 Kings 18 and 22. Uh, then said Elijah unto the people, I, even I only, remain a prophet of the Lord, but Baal's prophets are 450 men. So basically, that's how many um, men Elijah slew. All right. So I just wanted to bring that out because it's it's basically right here where it says religious ceremonies offer often appear to be illogical from an outsider's perspective, but the Vikings plunge straight into full blown stupidity with decision to pluck out their own eyes, leaving every single member of the troop permanently disfigured. This fails to work, so they just start mindlessly slaughtering each other until the wind starts to blow. Great work, guys. And hopefully, you'll never encounter a, pro a group of enemies with the ability to per perceive depth perception. But that's how it really is, man. You, you, you got to understand that there's certain individuals that are very religious, all right, that are very passionate and worship certain uh, deities, and they require the, those t those types of sacrifices. Okay. Um, real quick. But basically, that's what this this new show is about, man. You know, and they have Simmeramus in there. You know, she she's a she's a uh, she's she's an actress. I don't forget her name. It's hard to pronounce, but she's from Nigeria, and uh, she uh, is basically Semiramis, man. She's the queen of uh, the goddess of love, and she um, uh, preys on men. You know, and uh, I forgot how to pronounce her name. But all these things are, are, there's no new thing underneath the sun, man. Okay? It's just like right here. And uh, 
Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 16 they provoked him to jealousy with strange gods and abominations provoked they him to anger they sacrificed unto devils not to Yahweh, to gods whom they knew not to new gods that came newly up whom your fathers feared not you see so newly gods came up man and and and, and that's what this this movie's about too or this show about how they're worshiping technology you know the internet television music you know tech you know things of that nature you know so there's no new thing underneath the sun man and it all ties in into this whole nephilim you know the, the these guys that can come down and they can have children with, with 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 other women you know so i found that very interesting that we're in the time that we're in right now and it's it's it's, it's titled american gods so let me keep reading a little bit more. It says, I understand that the point of the scene is to establish Odin as a cruel god who demands sacrifice. But come on, there's plenty of examples of real life uh, ritualized cruelty that don't uh, descend into into farce. All right. Um, basically, this dude is, is showing his he, he's not too too happy about it. But, uh, you know, it's a it's it's a fairly brothers need to check it out. You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, it's tying into this whole this thing about these gods and, you know, basically just trying to bring it back to the people's minds of worshiping these new gods, man. You know, these gods and these old gods and these new gods, which is nothing new to us. We already know that it's that's what it is. You know, um, I ain't trying to keep this 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 thing too long. But uh, let me see what else I had lined up. All right. Uh, right here in Baruch uh, chapter 3. I'll start at verse 20. Young men have seen light and dwelt upon the earth, but the way of knowledge have they not known, nor understood the path thereof, nor laid hold of it. Neither children, their children were far off from that way. It had not been heard of in Canaan, neither hath it been seen in Theman. The Agarines that seek wisdom upon the earth, the merchants of Moran and of Theman, the authors of fables and searchers out of understanding, none of these have known the way of wisdom or remember her past. So they just came up with these new, these new guys, these false guys, these guys that don't exist, like Odin. You know, you got Simmer, uh, you got, you know, um you got these different types of gods you know uh Aphrodite Venus um Mars you know Os Osiris Horus you know you have these different gods that never existed you know they're and these these are authors of fables man Salakia these are author of fables and real quick let me go into that word fable all right it says um right here it says a story about legendary persons and ex exploits a falsehood a lie you see so it's a lie it's a falsehood it's just like going back into the uh genesis chapter six with the uh the sons of god came down or the sons of men or sons of god came down and had sex with the 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 women you know that's that's a, a cunningly devised fable all right, that's not what it's talking about. Okay, but I just found that, you know, interesting, you know, that Salakia, that this movie just happened to come out, you know, or this show. Like I said, it's on its first episode. It's called American Gods. And, you know, these, these, these Edomites, man, you know, they're just trying to further push their, uh, their, their, uh, they're false gods and things of that nature, man, you know, and, and, and just showing you in this in this time in the age that we're living in that uh, people are going to start uh, or the people are already are worshiping the technology. And ultimately, they're going to worship the beast, the, the image of the beast, which is the, the RFID chip, which is your 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 last, which is basically you're going to show your, your that's who you're really down with. All right. You're going to they're going to. Uh, present the chip to you and you're going to you're going to take that man because you're into all this technology all right so come man i just wanted to share that with you brothers 
you know, I hope it was edifying. You know, you brother need to check it out. You can make your own videos about it, but it's called American Gods, man, and it has to do with different old ancient gods and the new gods that came up in our time. You know, so um yeah, man, just check it out, man. And uh hope it was edifying. I want to give all praises and glory and honor to you by Shimia Washai. Double honors to the elders, great millstone. Much love and respect to you, brothers out there doing the work of sincerity and truth. Until next time, Shalom.